The third of the four missions we're supporting this year from St Catharines is Open Hands, based in Leicester. The scripture at the core of their work throughout the past 12 years is from Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 6 and 7. Is it not this kind of fasting I've chosen? To loose the chains of injustice, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and not turn away from your own flesh and blood? In 2008, the pastor and his wife of Trinity Life Church met a pregnant lady in Highfields who was homeless and asked for help. Although they were unable to do very much at that time, they began to understand that care towards the poor was at the heart of God and to be part of the core of their vision for the future. As a result, they started to give out food hampers. A year later, they opened the Compassion Centre, starting with Tuesday night meals and a drop-in session for clothes and household items. An important part of their work to was to offer prayer to the guests with the vast majority happy to receive prayer as part of the interview process. Over the years there have followed a furniture product, a support centre equipping individuals with skills to become more ready for work, a programme to women's self-esteem, English classes teaching English as a foreign language, a device centre providing services covering debt, housing, employment, immigration and pregnancy service advice. It has recently opened Six Degrees Coffee Shop on Lynn Road, giving some former guests work skills they can use to find employment. All profits are invested back into open hands. As a result of the coronavirus, the only services open at present are the Tuesday meal on a takeaway basis and the food where pre-packed food can be collected from the uni. For the future, with the help of the Leicester City Council, they are looking to relocate this year, moving all the services onto one site with space to uh, able, enable them to provide services better than in their current cramped premises in Highfield Street. The challenge is to raise £30,000 to complete the necessary work with the hope of opening towards the end of this year. Please pray that this venture will be able to continue to provide free skills training, mentoring and volunteering opportunities to equip and empower individuals to move forward in their lives. Also that everyone will be treated with the love, dignity and respect and offered hope for the future. Matthew chapter 25 says, For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I was ill and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of these, the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me.